In June 2023, the headline inflation rate rose to 22.79% relative to May 2023 headline inflation rate, which was 22.41%. Now, looking at the movement, the June 2023 headline inflation rate showed an increase of 0.38% points when compared to May 2023 rate. On a year-on-year -year basis, the headline inflation rate was 4 0.19 percent point higher compared to the rate recorded in June of 2022, which was 18.60 percent. Now, this shows that the headline inflation rate year-on-year -year basis increased in June 2023 when compared to the same month in the preceding year. On the show today, we will be breaking down all of this. A welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. Before we get into the discussion proper, here is a roundup of major business headlines. We'll begin with the NGX. The Nigerian equities market closed positively as the key market indicator advanced by 373.62 basis points amid positive market breaths. The NGX All Share Index advanced by 0.60% to close at 62,943.35 basis points against the 0.29% loss recorded previously uh, to close at 62,569.73 basis point at the end of the last trading session. Now, in Naira terms, the NGX market cap records a 203.44 billion Naira gain. Year to date, the NGX ASI stands at 22.81%. Now, Nigeria's oil output dropped month on month by 5.5% to 1.249 million barrels per day in June 2023 from 1.184 million barrels per day in May. Also, year on year, the nation's oil output dropped by 17.6% to 1.249 million barrels per day in June 2023 from 1.515 million barrels per day in the corresponding period of last year. In its latest July 2023 monthly oil market report, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, disclosed that this was based on data obtained from official sources. The report did not concede that Nigeria's condensate output currently hovering between 300,000 and 400,000 barrels per day, meaning that when this is conceded, the nation's total output would be much higher. Well, moving on now to exports, the executive director and CEO of the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, Isra Yokusak, says Nigeria's non-oil sector recorded a slight decrease in the value of exports to $2.54 billion, representing a 0.09% dip in the first half of 2023. Yokusak made a statement during a presentation on the non-oil export sector for the first half of the year. He explained that the record the figure was a slight decrease as against the sum of 2.59 trillion billion or billion dollars rather in the corresponding period of 2022. Now, the Poultry Association of Nigeria says uh, farms across the country are currently shutting down operations due to the persistent hike in the price of maize, a major feed for birds in the sub sector. Based on this, the PAN stated that the poultry subsector in Nigeria was heading for a crash if the government fails to salvage the industry. In a statement on Monday, the association said at the moment, the poultry industry in Nigeria is on the verge of total collapse if urgent intervention is not channeled to it without further delay. And that's it on Business Roundup. We'll take a quick break and we'll be talking about inflation figures in a moment. I'll be introducing my guests to join me again.